In this video, we're going to implement a sign out feature for our mobile application. And the user interface of our mobile application is very simple and we don't really have um, left side navigation menu at this moment or uh, any other navigation menu. Uh, once user signs in, the only page we have is uh, this main page. So it doesn't really matter at, at this uh, stage where I can put um, the logout button. I will put it uh, onto navigation bar at this moment. So I will open my uh, right side panel and under objects library, I want to look for a button. I already have it there. And I could put a button here or um, I will choose a bar button item and I'll drag it and uh, put it into my um, left side on the navigation bar here okay and i will select the um, um, button item and which and we'll change its title to something like sign out okay now um i will select the uh, main page view controller and open it in assistant editor hide the right side panel We'll scroll down and somewhere here. Uh, I will uh, create an action for this button. So I'll select the button, control click, to, oops, I'm sorry, select the sign out button, control click, drag. Um, oh, it's not. Okay, so uh, my uh, view controller on the right side is not correct. If I look uh, here, it says view controller, but I'm working with the main page. And I know that view controller responsible for this page is different. That's why it's not allowing me to create an action here. So I need to select proper. Um, normally Xcode uh, automatically se selects the proper view controller, but at this time it did not. So I can select it manually. So I'll go here automatic and select a uh, main page view controller, which is the view controller responsible for this uh, interface design. Okay, so I'll delete this comment. I'll click on the sign out button again, hold control button, click, drag and drop. Okay, and this connection uh, type will be action and I will call it sign out button tap. Okay, so when user taps on sign out button, there are a couple of things that we want to do. First, we want to um, remove the username from um, NS user defaults. So this is what I will do. NS, oops, NS user defaults, standard user defaults, remove object for key, and I think it's called username. Let me quickly uh, double check that. So I'll go to app delegate and I will look for at the time when mobile application starts, we check for username. And if username is not new, then we redirect user to a protected page. So I'll remove this key, um, go back to main page view controller. Yes, username, that's correct. Okay, and because I did some changes to my NS user defaults, I will synchronize it. And uh, another thing that I want to do is I want to sign out user from parse. So um, I will uh, import parse because when we signed in, we created a parse user object and we signed in using parse as SDK. So I will need to sign user out using parse SDK as well. So uh, there is a, a special type of object for users. It's called PF user. And there is a function called logout. So there are three actually available logout, logout in background and logout in background with block. Well, logout in background with block will have to, uh, it will send 
an instruction to parse and then we will have to wait for this instruction it will happen in background but i don't really want to wait for anything i just want to log out so a logout in background will um, not block our main thread. Uh, it will um, just like logout in background with block. But still, I don't want to do anything once user uh, is signed out with parse. So I'll choose this one, logout in background. And um, the last thing um, that I want to do is uh, I want to navigate to a sign-in page. So I will go back to, um, we, we do have this code somewhere, for example, in, um, yes, so I can reuse this code from um, app delegate. So in app delegate, I instantiate view controller and then I replace uh, a Windows root controller with a new page. So in my app delegate, I will navigate to a sign in page. Let's uh, go to main storyboard and zoom out a little bit and check what is the identifier, what is the storyboard ID for sign-in page. I'll select view controller, open right side panel, go to identity inspector. Oh, there is no storyboard ID. Uh, it's called view controller. So I will create storyboard ID and copy it and then go back to my main page view controller and um, we'll provide the uh, ident identifier here, view controller. So we are instantiating a uh, main storyboard and then we are creating a new view controller with identifier view controller, downcast it as view controller and I'll call it sign in page and then uh, we wrap it into navigation controller. I'll call it sign in page nav. And then we instantiate application uh, delegate and replace uh, Windows um, root view controller with the sign in page. Okay. So um, we, uh, again, we've removed the uh, username from uh, our NS user defaults. Now mobile app will forget the user and will not know that user is signed in. We send instructions to parse to log out user in background. And uh, while um, it's all happening, we will navigate user to the uh, main page. Again, we could have used logout in background. And then as soon as um, um, we received response from parse, we could uh, we could navigate to a uh, sign in page, but I, I I will use log log out and background only. Uh, okay, so uh, let's um, run this example and test. So I will run it because um, NS user default has username. It should start with the sign in. I mean the protected page. We logged uh, in earlier. Yes, yeah, so we're starting with main page and I'll put a breakpoint in app delegate. Uh, are we in app delegate? Yes, we are in app delegate. Did finish launching with options. So I'll put a breakpoint here and start application again. The reason it starts with the um, main page or protected page right away is because we have a value in our uh, user defaults. It's username. And then if value is not new, we instantiate main, main page view controller. But if we remove this, uh, our application, this code will be skipped and uh, initial view controller will be instantiated. And initial view controller is the one that has um, is the one that has an arrow at the left. So I'll go to back to main storyboard. This is the initial view controller. On the sign in page. Okay, so let's click on sign out page. Let's go back to uh, main page view controller. When user taps on log out, this sign out button top will be called. Let's put the breakpoint here and I will run my example. Okay, so I tap on sign out. I'm, I come into sign out button top. 
the username um, value will be removed and then instructions will be sent to parse in background and then I will navigate to sign in page okay so now if I stop my mobile application and I run it again it will no longer go to protected page it should go straight to sign in page Here we go, because the value of username is removed. Let's put a breakpoint here. I'm in the app delegate in, in the function uh, did finish launching with options. I'll stop my application and run again. And what is the value of username? Nail. Okay, so let's log in. Sergey at Rushlandia. One, two, three, four, five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sign in. Okay. I'll stop. Run. It should be protected page now. Yeah, it's protected page. So every time I start my mobile application, I'm logged in user. It will always go to protected page. But now I want to sign out and it goes to sign in. Okay, so um, very good. Um, I think we are done with our sign out um, function. As a second thought, uh, let's go back to main uh, page view controller and um, I'll show you how to implement logout in background with block. So um, PF user log out in background with block select enter and we have an as error object i'll give it a value of uh, i mean i will call it error uh, and we have a body of our block so uh, when we uh, send out instructions to parse like log out in background with block parse will try to log out user and uh, if something happens, if for some reason um, uh, parse could not log out user, parse SDK could not log out user, an error object will be returned and we can display a message to user like uh, could not log you out at this time, please try later. But uh, I mean, um, this is uh, already uh, a deeper level of uh, business logic of your mobile application. You might want to do that or not. So if you get an error, you can display an alert message could not log you out would you like would you still want to uh, log out now like force log out and this and in in that uh, case you can try to repeat it but uh in um as a second um uh, round you might not want to wait for parse to respond but simply call user uh, pf user for example log out in background because a user decided to log out of your application and if we prevent them and do not allow to log out it it's not very um, nice user behavior um, so um, okay so what I can do now what I need to do now I need to copy this code below and I need to paste it into this um, block function uh, block body okay so now I can run my example and I'll put a breakpoint here so that I see that uh, once I get a response from block, I mean, once I get a response, a response from parse, I get into this uh, block body and my uh, function is executed. So I will log in and I will type my digits as a password, sign in. Okay, I'm on site and then I tap on sign out. Here we go, I'm on uh, the um, block and I run it and I'm in uh, and I'm on sign in page again. So it works. Let's just do it again. Um, my password, sign in. I'm there, let's stop application, run it again. Sign out. Oh, everything works. 
Okay, so now we are done with this video.